Hey, let's open up some neglected Ken Fashionistas. Okay, I do have a few here left open. Like there's another guy over here, some, oh, this guy right here. These three up here. But these ones are older, especially these two. These were the first two, as you can see in this box. Well, they revamped them. They were fashionistas a really a long time ago and they were fully articulated. But then they came out with these ones again. These are the ones that I, uh, I like Ken's all across the board. I think they have better proportions than Barbie does. So I think they're always cool. They always looked like G.I. Joe action figures. This is the rest of my collection. I wonder if this is all fashionistas. So those are fashionistas. And I guess some of these aren't fashionistas. They're not fashionistas. This guy's a fashionista. But here's the rest of them. I just want to get all of them open. I guess I didn't open him because he was just a regular Ken. He had the regular Ken head, and that's why I skipped over him. He came out around the same time as these guys you can see in there, and those two were very special characters, so of course I opened them right away. And this is Ryan, but I guess he's not Ryan once he became a fashionista. And then there is this head, and this was a head that I used to have problems with, and I was really happy when they switched over to this head. I thought he looked not as masculine, but I don't actually mind his head now. I guess maybe because there's such a diversity of characters. These have like monster high tabs on them instead of the glue. He has the model pose. And they did revisit that back when they brought this guy out. But I like that. I like the straight on pose. I do like it. But I also am a fan of this model asymmetrical standing pose too. I would definitely describe this as a fashionista. I don't necessarily see fashionista as a good thing. I'm not a big trendy fan. It's not that I don't like trends. Sometimes I think being a fashionista is more about following a trend than actually having taste. There's lots of things you can do to make an outfit look interesting without overdoing it and trying too hard. These can stand on their own, obviously. Yeah, I'm happy to have more of this stance in the collection, considering there was only one guy in the Fashionista collection that had this pose. So this is really good that he has people to make him feel at home. I believe the new pink sleeveless top guy is also using this Ryan's head. This one I just have to rip off. He's number four. They didn't number these ones. I don't think there was just this many of them in the beginning. I've seen all of these at a store in my city. They still have these left. Just because of the first series, I've been tempted to buy the whole collection, but I never did. I think they're probably gone by now. They're $15 each too. It's a store that's not very inexpensive. Even though I don't really like how they're dressed, it might be cool to have them because they were the first ones. Oh, I did not know. I think I probably did know, but I forgot. He comes with sandals. They're pretty cool. I'm not sure if I have a pair of those yet. So this is what we get going on. Those are some... I'm gonna put these guys down just because I'm prone to dropping stuff. These are some high-waisted jeans. But we got some brown sandals. We got this dark denim. Very high-waisted, but Ken can pretty much pull anything off. Then we have this very Canadian plaid t-shirt. Whoa, these are a better quality. Their shoulders go out. More articulation. Wait, do fashionistas usually do that? Oh, wait, no, that's that's common for articulation for a fashionista. This, oh, this guy does it too. I guess it's been so long since I opened a fashionista. The last one I opened was this beach doll. His arms are rubber, opposed to the stiff hard plastic. Yeah, I gotta pick up that shoe that I dropped. Always dropping stuff. 
I guess I should have kept the elastics on. I don't believe that your toys should need to have the elastics and the fasteners kept in place for you to use them. I'm kind of actually against that. So I will always take off the elastics, even though these shoes are not gonna stay on without the elastics. I don't like a printed t-shirt, I like a solid. I'm kind of even against logo tees right now. I like things basic, like I said, I'm not really a fashionista or a fashionisto. I do like the cut of the t-shirt and I do like a plaid. And I really like this soft denim. Okay, I'm taking the shoes off now. Okay, Ryan. These sneakers we definitely have seen before. They're in an off-white. I like an off-white. And then he's got these green long denim shorts. They're a little lower waisted, perhaps. Similar cut though. I mean, I guess there's not much you can do with a 12 inch doll's clothes. And then the t-shirt has the print on one side and the sleeves. That's actually a very fashionable thing to do, even though people don't like when their dolls have one colored clothes on one side. But in real life, people love that. I'm really liking that pose. And here's Ryan's face. He looks serious. I like the colors in his hair. I don't know if that means he's got frosted tips or what. And I like this pattern too. Again, I would wear it in a normal shirt, not a t-shirt. And here's Ken in red jeans. I've tried to wear red jeans before. Those shoes are pretty nice. I like those. And they're boots. And they're red pants. Red pants are pretty flashy. They're saying, look at me, look at me. And then, then he's wearing this pretty casual shirt, which is just stripes. I'm more bound to wear stripes. I do have some striped t-shirts. It's a simple enough pattern. This one might be a little too modern because it's blocked stripes. And that's his face. And I guess I just thought he looked a little too feminine. And that is why I didn't like it, but I really don't mind it anymore. I do like the new Ken head that they've given him. And since then, I believe this is now the newest Ken head. And that is probably my favorite Ken head to date. Maybe it's just because of the times. I love that haircut. That is a haircut that I want. I'm examining that right now because I plan to get my haircut really soon. Speaking of being trendy, it's that haircut that's short on the sides and long on top, which is a very convenient haircut. So it is probably what I will do. I will show you what their bodies and articulation looks like and how they differ. The front of his pants, it's a lower waist. Velcro in the back. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna make sure that, oh, make sure that these bodies are the same. Is it the same shoulder and everything? Yeah, it's the same as this guy. Once again, we have belted underwear. Something that I haven't really seen since the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah, I think we lost the belted underwear around the 80s and 90s. And then I'll show you a normal body. These are a really nice thick material, these jeans. This guy does seem a bit broader. It could be just the way that he's standing. I know people don't like the asymmetrical pose, but I think it just adds character to the stance. And I don't mind this one either. I like this pose because when you put the doll on display and you're just looking at it, it's like a mannequin and it's, you can turn it around and look at everything evenly and perfectly. See how they fixed up the neck in recent years and they've brought the chin line down. It just makes for a seamless connection. That's a really good improvement that they've made recently. Let me know which body you think is best. They both look super shiny under these lights. I still want to show you all of my cans. Now I have them in different places, so as soon as I finish reviewing all of the cans, maybe then I will show you a fashionista collection, and then I can show you a collection of all of the other ones that I have, which I don't know I can find because they seem to be themes. The video game hero ones are with the video game hero ones, and then the camping fun ones are with the camping fun stuff. So it's kind of split up for me to show you my whole Ken collection. I can show you a fashionista collection because I do have those all together. I wonder if I should do my thumbnail with my shirt off again. It's what I normally do. I guess it would be funny. I hope nobody gets mad. I am not liking my hair today. Really need a haircut. 
right. I'm not going to make the thumbnail, so I'm not going to do it. Not feeling it today. And I think I already made a good thumbnail, so great. Now I have to dress them all. Well, I guess I don't. I can just say thank you so much for watching because I've already made the thumbnail. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I was going to review more of these. I'm glad I stuck to just doing three of them because this video is going to be long enough as it is. And I'm not saying that I don't like the outfits. I just wouldn't personally wear them. I know many fashionistas and I like them as people. Just because I wouldn't wear what you're wearing doesn't mean I don't like you as a person. In fact, I prefer eccentric people. I know eccentric people are the people who are watching my channel. Normal people are afraid of me. These are cool. Which one's your favorite from today? Which one is your favorite Ken Fashionista of all time?